In this lesson, I'd like to talk about the process of executing tests, but using a database in memory, specifically a SQLite database in memory, which can drastically improve the performance of our tests. Luckily in Laravel, it's very easy. If I open up the config folder, notice all of these files, but then we have additional files within, see this folder here called testing? Well, as it turns out, if you add a configuration file but place it within a folder that has a name that corresponds to an environment name, then that configuration will take precedence over the default, which is production. So what I mean by that is, take a look at database.php here. Here are my default settings for performing database queries in this project. Notice that we set a default of MySQL, and then I have some basic configuration here. However, if I now set new options or new items within testing slash database.php, they will take precedence if the environment is set to testing. Next, when we run PHP unit, behind the scenes, Laravel is automatically going to set the environment to testing. So now we know all we have to do here is specify what settings we would like for our tests, and Laravel will automatically refer to them when we run PHP unit or essentially reference Laravel from the command line. All right, let's try it out. Now we can copy and paste here. So at the top, we basically want to override the default connection. So I'll go ahead and paste this in. Now we want it to be SQLite. Let's go back. And next we need to register the connection settings. So I'm just going to copy this right here. And once again, paste this in as well. Now our connection settings will do a database in memory and we're gonna set the driver to SQLite. And believe it or not, that's really all there is to it. Now when we run PHP unit, this file will take precedence and we're going to use a database in memory. Let's verify it to see if it works. Within example test, I'm first going to add a setup method and I'm going to remember to call Laravel setup method. Next, I'm going to always call artisan call migrate because we're dealing with the database in memory, so I'm going to need to build up that database for every single test. Now, let's write a simple test to verify that it works. Test, it works. Now, let's say we're working with an order. Let's do a poor man's factory here. We'll insert one order into our database in memory, and we're gonna call it, maybe, that'll be a Wii U. To verify that this did get inserted into our DB in memory, let's run an assert equals, and say we expect Wii U to be equal to, and then we'll just do a search, order first name. However, before this will work, we of course need to set up an orders table and the order model. So I will do that right now. Generate a model called order, and generate a migration called create orders table, and we'll just set the fields bare bones here. We're gonna have a name, an ID, and the timestamps. Now I'm going to run migrate, and that is going to create the database table. We can verify that by refreshing the page, and sure enough, we do have orders. However, if we did everything correctly, when we call order create, that will be inserted not into that production MySQL database, it will be inserted into our DB in memory. Let's go ahead and test it out. PHP unit, and sure enough, we get green. But just to be safe, let's switch back over to SQL Pro. Now, if I reload, notice, nope, it didn't get added there. It was added to our DB in memory. And more importantly, all of our tests will be executed in isolation because in the setup, which runs before every test, we re-migrate that database. So it's sort of a way of destroying it and building it back up before every single test. So in closing, you need to remember three things if you want to create a database in memory. One, create a database.php file within the testing folder. In this way, when the environment is set to testing, anything you specify in this file will take precedence. Two, within the setup method of your test class or a class that your test class inherits from, always remember to migrate the database before each test runs. And finally, don't forget that when you run PHP unit, you don't have to do anything. Laravel will automatically set an environment of testing for you.